Hello, I'm Associate Professor Matthew Jordans. Today, we're going to look at the paper plane. We're going to take a standard dart paper plane that everyone knows how to make, but by using engineering principles, we're going to supersize it and make it a super plane. To build our paper plane, we start with an A4 sheet of paper. We fold it in half. We're going to fold down the corners of the front to make the wings. The reason for this is part of the first principle. We want slow air underneath the wing. And that means we'll get more pressure underneath and more lift. Next, we're going to look at the second principle, that of the center of gravity. What we're going to do is we're going to fold down the front of the plane, about three centimeters. By doing this, we change the center of gravity of the plane. We move it further to the front. We're going to take the wing and fold it from a point about halfway up the front of the plane to about a third of the way up the back of the plane. By folding the wings down on each side, as symmetrically as we can, we will create our basic wings. Having folded our wings, I'm going to create a couple little flaps underneath the plane. Finally, we're going to look at that third principle. We're going to look at the angle of the wings. We'll look at the plane from the back of it and see that we've got a V-shape. If we don't have this V-shape, that makes the plane unstable. Finally, we have to note that we can actually create some aerolons on the back of the plane, just folding up the corners of the plane at the back. This allows us to change the flight of the plane. Now it's time to fly our plane and where we can see how well our plane performs. If we want to compare it with world records, the longest distance for a plane is 69 metres and the longest time a plane has stayed in the air is 29 seconds. Let's see how this one does. I hope you've had fun. I have. Let's go fly planes.